Hello, Ocean's Edge world, slash whoever else is looking at this. Um, my name is Forrest. I lead worship for the Calvary um, Hollywood campus down in Hollywood, Florida. And today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what to play and when to play when your pastor comes out to pray at the end of a worship set. So we're going to start with the key of G. Um, say you end the last song. third fret on the B to the first fret on the B string. So you got your G to a G sus. Now your pastor begins to pray. Feel free to like leave some space, bring it out. Then I move to a D at 11, which is basically just a C, two frets up. First finger on the second fret of the A string, third finger on the fourth fret of the D string, open G, middle finger on the third fret B string. So it sounds like this. Or you can take off your first finger and just do. Right. And then a, a C major seven, which is just your middle finger right on the uh, third fret A string. over F sharp. Right. Back to the e, uh, e minor 9. And then to your C. C major 7. And so your pastor comes out to pray. You're just noodling on the G. Sometimes I even just do two chords. you don't want to you don't want to play to distract you only want to yeah, create that background drop where people can just get lost and, and worship it and you know as, as he's praying it there's not that awkward silence of just no one playing anything but it adds just that cool ambience to it um you know so you're coming to the close of the prayer you know your pastor's winding down i usually do uh, like a four five one ending on that one so you got something away from this. You can, you know, capo it at any fret. You can capo it, use any key. Um, and it's really cool acoustic, acoustic players, you can do the same thing. The key is just leaving all that space. 